Welcome back to Forever. Back again with another video. Wow. All I can say is wow. This, wow. First of all, let me just start off this video by saying I take back every single thing I said in my reviews of episodes one through. I don't even know what, what episodes I'm reviewing right now. But the when I said that the cast, in my earlier reviews of the episodes where I said I didn't think the cast was racist, well, I didn't think, you know, Jack and Jackson were racist. I didn't think, I thought it was maybe just a coincidence that, you know, they they targeted all the minorities and all this stuff. I take back all of that because after seeing this week, or not, if I'm honest, I didn't see it. I just, I kept, I keep up with the live feeds now. I don't, I so saw I read about them. I don't actually watch them, which is so, so sad because last year, season 20, I was like, super fan like watching those live feeds every day all night just glued to my phone watching the live feeds and this season like i can't even stomach to watch that crap so i read the stuff for some spoiler people on twitter or accounts on twitter that tells what's going on in the live feeds and it's just like and then i i watch somebody asked me whose live feed spoilers do i watch i watch um only two right now actually i watch carter matt and i watch matt rose d and that's it those are the ones i watch so i keep up with the and really, like, they're the ones who opened up me, opened up my mind to seeing that they, this house is horrible. Like, they are racist. A lot of the people inside this house and prejudice and just, it's so horrible to see. It really hit me when the closing image was Julie sitting there with all three brown people. Like, literally. Like, they were all, like, that was... You're just missing Jessica. Just put Jessica out there and it's a clean sweep. And it's a clean sweep. But let's just get right to the um, the actual review of these three episodes. That I don't know what numbers they are. Sorry, y'all. I, I don't know. So, let me just start off by saying. So, right when the season, well, when the episode started, I wanted either Kimmy or David to come back. We learned right in the beginning that the person will be announced today. So, I wanted Kimmy or David to come back. Ov was just like, like I don't know. I think he was just too soft. I feel like Kimmy, uh, they're more entertaining than Ov, basically. And I feel like Ov would be more likely to work with the other side. And like I told you, I'm not really a big fan of Cliff. So like his closest ally was Cliff. So I wasn't really into that. And he loved Jack so much. So Nick won the H O H. It was a crapshoot. He was super happy about it. Everyone pretty much knew immediately that Jackson was the one that did the hinky vote. Christy won the activity, which I, what was it? It was the thing with the cockroaches, right? I heard that she killed a couple of them. <laughs> That's funny. Like, what is up with this season of Big Brother? Is it just because of the camp background or, like, theme? Because why is it that they're using all these animals? I don't mind it. I do not mind it. But I feel like the snake competition was kind of easy. And I know I'm saying that now and I'm not actually in it. But when people are doing it in, like, two minutes and one minute, and I think it's pretty easy. To me... The way I would think about it, if I was in that competition on the show, is these snakes, I don't think Big Brother would put them here if they're going to harm me. So I'm just going to pew, 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 you know, do it real fast. The cockroaches, that's kind of gross. I don't know. I probably would have did as worse than anybody else in this competition. So big ups to Christy for finishing it. I think only two people finished or something like that. I saw, like, Nick didn't know what the heck he was doing, but... Uh, what's uh, he? Oh, so he nominated Nick, nominated Jess and Cliff. Christy told Nick or Tommy about her her power first before she told anybody else. Eventually, she did tell Jack um, somewhere in here. I didn't write this down because I don't think they showed it on the show, but I'm not sure. So the undeniable have a alliance meeting inside the room, which I'm confused as to why Sam was. Well, I guess I'm not. Because it, it makes sense when Kimmy got evicted tonight and she explained Sam's game. Like, they are a smart man. Kimmy and David, like, what a flop. Like, but I'll get to it. I'm not calling them flops. I'll get to it later on inside this review. But, uh, so they had the alliance meeting. I'm so glad they showed this on the show. Like, this is just a small piece of the stuff that went on this week. Like, this week, they didn't even show a half. They didn't even show a quarter of the horrible, horrible things that this group, like they said about Nicole, about Kimmy, the way, oh my gosh, show some of the stuff that Jackson say about David. I wish that they actually did show that and David saw it. 
Like, I'm not saying David would do anything to Jackson, but I just want David to see it. Because, really, David would probably kill Jackson when it comes to words. So, like, I would just love to see what David's reaction would be to see it. Man, it's so frustrating. Because you look at his DRs and how he was like, I'm coming straight for Jackson. And you look at Kimmy and she's like, I'm going straight for Jack. And they didn't show it on the show, but Ovi was going straight for Christy and Tommy. So, it was just like, what the heck? We got... Uh, what the heck? What a horrible, horrible, like, horrible episode for, like, anticlimactic. Like, sorry, guys, we like Cliff and all, but no, absolutely not. Worst case scenario. I would have rather had Ovi come back. I'm sorry, I'm off this review now. But the fandom, just seeing all those tweets pop up of everybody, like, upset, raging, the past house guests who were legends, who were rooting for David, some rooting for Kimmy. I didn't really see anybody rooting for Ovi, and nobody wanted Cliff to come back. That is the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. And then, like, seeing David and Ovi talk about how they rooting for Cliff. Like, no, David, Cliff participated in some of the horrible things said about you. Wait till you get out of sequester and you go on Twitter and you see the stuff they said about you, David. You weren't even inside the house for... Did he get evicted on day one? Did he go to camp, come back on day one? I don't know. He probably was in the house longer than just one day. I don't know. But they hated you when you came back for no reason, David. Wait till you see this crap. Oh, my God. But where was I? Anyway, uh, so horrible thing they showed. I don't even want to go through that stuff. Like, it was so sad watching Ovi go back up there and try to stand up for them. Horrible seeing Nicole get her the door slammed in her face. Bella is just a horrible human being. And the, the sad part is that she thinks that she's doing all of them think and I know I was a big fan of Christy, but let me tell you. Like I I was quoted on here saying I love Christy. Christy's my favorite. Christy's my heart. I'm always rooting for her. But and I know a lot of people love Tommy, but after this week, I think he lost a lot of fans. Like, this crap, like, the stuff that happened. If y'all don't watch the live feeds, I don't watch the live feeds. I got them. I sometimes click on it, but I never watched it for more than one minute. Um, but if y'all don't keep up with the live feeds, just, or actually, don't even, don't even go back and look. Let me get back to my review, though. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Uh, so... Nicole and Bella talk, uh, y'all saw this on the show, frustrating, so horrible, I'm so glad Nicole called her out, thank God, but the thing is, and I'm cutting away from my review again, but the only person I'm rooting for is Nicole, the only person on this cast that I'm rooting for is Nicole, started off with 16 people, 3 people got evicted, so we down to 13, and out of 13, I'm rooting for one person, one person, I don't think Kat is that bad either, but I'm not, like, she's done some horrible things. She talked crap about Kimmy for no reason. And the stuff she did with Jackson and her boyfriend, like, why is she not getting enough, a lot of backlash? If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, then check that out. Y'all can look that up yourself. But why is Kat not getting as much backlash as Caitlyn was getting last year for doing this thing with her boyfriend? But whatever. Uh, I guess it's not confirmed that Kat has a boyfriend. But, but Caitlyn, like, we all knew she was cheating on her boyfriend. But... Anyway, so I'm glad Nicole called out Bella. Cat won the veto. I like that veto. That was a good veto. Too bad we didn't get to see a lot of Caitlyn, but I'm glad. I want them to stop bringing back Big Brother 20 people, though. Like, Jesus Christ, they brought back almost the whole cast. They, The people that got evicted, like, from back, like, from the front, like, so Tyler, Casey, Tyler, K oh, where well, they skipped Sam and they skipped Angela, but I'm assuming that they don't really like Angela that much I'm just thinking that I don't know because of how she acted last year and they just skipped Sam so but Sam will probably be in this veto watch I, that's what my prediction is that probably gonna be Sam in the next veto this would be a perfect theme for her the campground why is not Sam been on here yet actually I just thought about that Sam from last season this is perfect for her but anyway uh, Christy freaks out about Kat using the veto. She thought she was going to go up. That was a funny edit, CBS. That was funny. About, uh, what was it? I don't know. He said something funny, but I'm going to just say, yeah, I ate oatmeal. Like, and it was like, she was like, the things he's saying, like, he ate oatmeal. He ate oatmeal. Like, it was funny. 
Okay. But anyway, I don't know he didn't actually say he ate oatmeal. It was something else, but I forgot what it was. Um, Kim comeback is announced. They go to commercial. Oh, no. Christy tells everybody about her power pretty much now because Kat used the veto on Jessica and uh, Nick nominated Nicole in, a play, in her place. Everybody thought... Uh, by the way, uh, in case I'm not spitting out what's going on, Nicole told Bella the truth, 100% the truth. Well, I don't know about 100%, but the truth. Bella went right back and told everybody, and everybody lied, and they participated inside of a bashing session of Nicole. Like, in a room, nine people bashing her, talking bad about her for, like, 30 minutes? It went on, slamming the door, telling David not to come, telling Cliff, well, I don't think Cliff ever went up there. Tell, shit, shoot, it was, it was bad. But... Uh, so then we get to see the, uh, but, oh, six shooters come up with the strategy pretty much that they don't want to get Nicole out because, yes, uh, Nicole did tell the truth about all this, but now we know Nicole's going straight after Nick and Bella. That's what they think. If Nicole was smart, she would not go after Nick and Bella because Nick and Bella are two people. Nicole, you got to be smart. Look at this. Look at the bigger picture. Don't look at uh, revenge because you hate Bella. And uh, we all hate Bella, but Bella and Nick are two people. Only two. If you go after the bigger alliance, which is the six, you have to see the six people working together. Go after all six of them. If you win HOH, you take out one of them. And then Nick and Bella are still after the other five, and the other five are still after Nick and Bella. Uh, it's not that hard to me, but... Jesus, only Nicole. She has no allies for real. Because Jessica is a flop. Jessica is the biggest flop of this season. Biggest flop. And I'm going to get on to her in a minute. How long is this review? Like, let me get to it. So, then we finally, we see the best part of the episode. We only focus on the camp comebackers. And we see all their strategies. So, we see David. This was such a fake edit, though. Like, I'm being everyone's friend. Like, maybe he tried. But go back and watch the live feeds. It was horrible. It was horrible. Like, he tried to play games with them, and they would shut him down. He tried to talk like they would shut him down. It was not a good time to talk. They had to reach. Those were probably the only few clips that they saw it was him tickling somebody, him scaring somebody, and him having a staring contest with somebody, Christy. So, But apparently his social game is supposed to be the good one, and Ovi's is supposed to be the weird, awkward. Like, that's the way they edited it. Um... So apparently, like, we're supposed to think that David is the better person to get in out of those two. Then we see Nicole and Nicole, or Kimmy. And Kimmy is not living up to the edit that they're trying to give her, which is a mean girl. But she's best friends with Nicole, thank God. Because if she would have stayed with um, Bella, she would have been just as bad as Bella. Like, we would dislike her just as much. But she, she went to the good side, and she's with Nicole. But I guess that's really not her choice. Bella turned on her, Nicole didn't. So, but, so, I love, at this point, this is where we saw Nicole, Kimmy will be aligned with Nicole and go after Jack. David will be aligned with, like, Kat, and I don't even know, it, well, his main alliance would be with Kat, and he would go after Jackson. And Ovi main alliance was with Cliff, and they didn't really say who he'd go after, but at this point, after seeing all this, I'm like, alright, I'm leaning towards Kimmy. Or, did I say that? You know, I, I said I'm leaning towards wanting Kimmy back, but I feel like I should have been leaning towards one David back because Kimmy, I feel like they would have just wanted to get her right back out. David, I can see Christy saying, oh, no, we can keep him. He might go after Nick, you know. Or Nick saying, oh, no, he might go after Jackson. Jackson's the one that put him, yeah. So I probably should have been leaning more towards David. But I think I was leaning more towards Kimmy. And that is why I was leaning more towards Kimmy. Because she was actually a fan of the show. She knows the show. And I want to root for people who are like me. And she's just like me when it comes to being a fan of the show. David is just, he's not. He doesn't know. Like he even said something in this episode about it'll be the biggest move in Big Brother history. David, you don't know Big Brother history. I like you, though. I like you, though. That wasn't a shot or anything. Um... So, let's just get to the speeches, because I know I'm talking too much. I hope y'all are entertained. But anyway, so Cliff gave a really good speech. It was really good, really classy, really short. Like, this was probably the best, like, eviction speeches since. <laughs> this is the best eviction speeches 
since when it was Tyler and Angela on the block and Casey had the veto. So what was that? That was final four, was it? Yeah, that was final four of Big Brother 20. This was the best one because Cliffs was really good, really classy, really clean. He did it really, really good. And then Nicole's was really, really funny and lighthearted and, you know, uh, genuine. I liked hers. She said, like, grab some, grab Earth or Life by the Boobs and uh but not minds or something like that and then she was like don't listen to your heart don't listen to your brain don't listen to your gut and i was like where is she going with this and then she was like listen to me <laughs> i was like i like that that was good i didn't know she was funny like this like only person i'm rooting for and i'm scared she's gonna be evicted so then it's time to vote i love to play this game where i count who doesn't give shout outs this time we got annalise jack and cat by the way, Jack was like clean shaven. I almost didn't recognize him. And at the end, when the show went off and they show like the little camera that's like all the way up, he looked like Tyler from the, like the head up, just the ponytail part with the no face, like no face here. He looked a lot like Tyler from last season. Uh, but anyway, time to vote. Anyway, so yeah, Jessica voted to evict Nicole, which I wanted to note because Jessica clearly said that she would never vote to evict a female and that she she's fake friends with Nicole all this time. Like, Jessica's fake. I don't like Jessica at all. I didn't even mention the fact that she picked Christy to play in the veto. And at one point I was watching the feeds for like a little while when it was she, because it was like people that I liked. It was like David, Ovi, Nicole, and Jessica walked in the room. And Nicole, or Kimmy. Kimmy, all of them were inside her, all the people I like. And basically, Nicole said, can you pick me for veto? I will take you down. And Jessica said yes. So I don't know what happened or if they ever talked about that, but she claimed it was because Nicole, blah, 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 this. But the thing is, if Nicole would have won, she would have took you down and y'all both would have been safe. You idiot. Oh, I do not like Jessica. But but Jessica would be on the, like, if I ranked the house guests, which, boy, that would be hard. Jessica would be more towards the the top of people I like, but, and I honestly, actually, I don't want to say that. I was about to say it's somebody inside that, that eight person alliance that I haven't heard say anything that bad. And I think everything they say might just be for game. I'm not going to tell y'all who it is because I'll post this and then bam, all these clips will come out of that person saying all this bad stuff. But I haven't heard that person say anything really, really horrible. And if they have said something bad, they can say, uh, that was just for game. I don't like these people, but I have to be in alliance with them. Anyway, where are we now? Oh, so Cliff is voted, or, or Kat says she vote to evict Nicole. But don't think I don't know what's going on. I thought that was cute. That was funny. Uh, then we see Cliff get evicted by a vote of six to four. Nick was blindsided. I thought it was funny when they put the camera on him. Apparently, Sam turned red. I didn't see that, but I wasn't really paying attention to him, I guess. I, I'm still not a fan of Sam. Uh, this house. These people. This house. This is... Is this house worse? I, I'm trying to think. This house might be worse. This cast might be worse than the cast from season 19. Because in season 19... All of them were just followers. They were followers of one person. So if you eliminated Paul, maybe the cast would have been better, with the exception of Matt and Raven. This cast, they all seem to be individuals. No, It's not one main follower, one main leader. Because that room, that bashing session in the cold, Jack wasn't even in it. So if y'all want to say Jack's the leader, I never saw him as the leader. And he came, and Jackson came in late. So who's the ringleader of Grateful? I don't know. But whatever. Nick is blindsided. Um, they didn't really show, what's her name? Bella being blindsided. But anyway, camp comebackers go. And then as soon as I saw it, and I wrote this in my notes, crapshoot. They did all of that campaigning. Well, not campaigning, but they claim you will play the social game. And nothing, it should have been a vote. If CBS knew who was right, they would have rigged the competition. I saw somebody put this on Twitter. I'm like, that's a good idea. They should have rigged this competition so that David or Kimmy would have won. Probably David because of how he, he got treated. Mm. I don't know. They should have rigged it. I think they should have rigged it for David to win. If they wanted to have a crapshoot, they should have rigged it for David to win. Or they should have had a vote so that David could come back because... You realize that everybody hates the cast. Even your alums are speaking out on Twitter about how horrible the cast is. Do you really want 
everybody in the cast to suck except Nicole, then y'all are going to have to really rig the game so that she can make it further. And she not, I, I'm sorry to say, but I don't think she's going to win. Because look at this cast. If she can make it out the winner, if anybody from Grateful makes it to the final two, all the Grateful are going to vote for that person to win, and they automatically got the majority, even if they do nothing the whole season. That's why I hate about big alliances, but... So, Crapshoe, I thought it would favor Ovi, but I'm, I'm an idiot for writing that in my notes because I should have known it would favor Cliff. If it was Endurance, it would have favored Kemi, right? That's what... So, I thought Endurance favored Kemi, Mental favored Cliff, um, uh, Strategy favored David, and Crapshoe would favor Ovi. I don't know why I didn't think what Mental would favor... Ovi, but whatever. But he didn't even win. Cliff, like, I don't know how he was so good at this. I almost think maybe it was rigged, but it was on that machine, and they they meant to switch David and Cliff. Like, they meant for Cliff, for David to be at Cliff's machine, but David was like, oh, actually, I like this one down here. <laughs> and then the producer was like, oh, crap, we rigged the wrong machine. We are supposed to rig the one on the left or on the right. Well, we did rig the one on the left, but David just went to the one on the right. Now, whoever gets the one on the left, they're going to be the winner, and they're going to come back. Please, Kimmy, get that one. No! Producers were going crazy. They're like, how many more minutes till commercial? So that they can switch Cliff, but like they come up with an idea on why we can cl switch Cliff to another machine. But they couldn't. I just made all that up. But I just thought it'd be funny. Like... They rigged the wrong machine. They should have rigged it if they knew what was right. <laughs> That's actually horrible to say. But this cast sucks. It really, really sucks. So get to so Cliff comes back. Blah 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 blah. Everyone's happy because yeah, he sucks and he could actually win because all these people going after each other. But I just don't like Cliff. I don't like him. I don't like anybody except Nicole, and she's probably gonna be evicted before jury. Anyway, or she might not. Actually, she might actually. Anyway, uh, so we go to their interview with Julie Chen. This is when it really hit me. Like this is horrible, and I think it hit everybody. And that's when all the outrage came on Twitter because we saw all brown, all brown people. And then if you want to talk about people of color, look at Julie. Like right there, like all of them. This is just horrible. And then Davis crying, I'm talking about. The thing with David is, he didn't really get to do anything, like, really. Like, he played a crapshoot competition twice. He gave a lot of praise to Cliff, said, you beat me twice, good job, I'm rooting for you. Cliff, uh, David, wait till you um, get out the house and you listen to some of the stuff that people said about you, including Cliff. Uh, but it's not his fault for thinking that. He's a good person, so good, good on you for rooting for Cliff. Too bad he wasn't rooting for you at all. So... Uh, we go to Kimmy, who's just happy for Nicole. Uh, it really hit when David said, I wanted this season to be different. Yeah. Because uh, we knew what he meant. Uh, Kimmy is happy for Nicole. She was blindsided by the vote, she said. That was the first split vote. She was happy about that. I don't really remember what Ovi said. And Julie tells David that he was on point with his game what he thought was going on in the game. I think Julie was rooting for David. I think Julie really likes David because she kept going back to him. Um, she wanted him to, she was talking to him the most. Then Ovi and David said, or she asked who are they rooting for? Ovi and David said, Cliff, I can see why Ovi is, but man, just, it's just sinking in, thinking about how the season's about to go. Tyler put on on Twitter that he still has hope because he put on Twitter like uh, something about this. It's horrible. This is so bad. Like so so bad. And just, even the stuff Nick said like I felt bad. Like Nick, you a therapist? You a therapist? He called like Nicole's anxiety fake and like uh I don't even want to get into it. Kimmy interesting says she was rooting for Sam. This is like more reasons why we wanted Kimmy to come back, right? Because, uh, and then she had that line a couple weeks ago or a couple episodes ago. I'm not the stab you in the back type of person, okay? <laughs> I'm going to turn you around and stab you right in the heart type of person. I love that line. So she's rooting for Sam. 
and I thought like what's she about to say about Nicole but she said that she just she sees Sam's game and I think she's smart because she probably thinks it's no like how I'm thinking it's no way Nicole is gonna win she's a look at look at what's going on but Sam Sam might be able to Tommy thinks he's playing the middle but maybe Sam is even more but then again, Tommy is in every alliance. He's in literally every alliance. Sam is not. So. But that's it. The show goes off with. Apparently, I'm supposed to go watch some more of uh, Julie's interview with the brown people. Uh, with the minorities. Um, but I'm going to go watch that in a minute. I don't even know if it's posted on CBS yet. The HOH is in endurance competition. Woo, that'll be fun to see. Um, uh, oh, I didn't even write down who I'm rooting for for this HOH, but uh, I think you guys know. I'm rooting for Nicole. Who do I think will win? I think Annalise has a good chance. Annalise will probably win. Annalise. Sis. Sis is winning. That's my prediction is Sis because the reason why I'm predicting Sis... Or actually... Does Bella smoke cigarettes? Because if Bella don't smoke cigarettes, I think she might win. But sis, because Bella is small and Bella has the, like, she's got that edge on her where she's like, I gotta win. If I don't win, me and Nick going up because some fishy stuff went on. So I think uh, Bella could win or I think sis is winning because sis is small and sis is an athlete. So she probably works out a lot. So, and I don't think she smokes. So I will go with sis. Second place, I would say Bella. Or Bella and Sis is who I think will win. And I'm just going to say Nicole because I want her to win, right? But then I had Christy. If it's endurance, Christy won the last one. I don't know. I, this video is going way too long. I got to end this with you. I don't know. Yeah, the last thing we saw was Grateful arguing, which was funny. <laughs> ah, Nick was crying. Nah, that's what you did. And I really thought I was going to like him in that preseason interview. Like, oh, golly. <laughs> But be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all front social media. Check out the Patreon link in the info box below. Click the videos that just appeared on my show to see more content from me. And until next time, guys, catch you later. Let's talk about Big Brother in the comments down below.